Hi YouTube and welcome. Today I wanted to share a haul with you. From an art supply store I bought this watercolor palette on sale. It was like 27 euros and it retails for even the Cotman watercolors for around I think around 40 euros. Sometimes it goes up to 60 euros. But when I saw the low price I just had to get it. I even paid shipping because I thought I don't need anything else. So it just opens up like this. It has like the flask, a sponge, and this one just latches. I think this one attaches right here. So you can fill. I don't know why they keep adding this paint brush because it's so tiny and i have seen some pictures of people filling this part with more watercolor pens and you have like a lot of mixing space i'm not the biggest fan of the cotman watercolors i might even move them to a different palette and just Where's how? Lift. Okay. Oh, so you can access all the half pants. So I think of moving these to a different palette. And filling it with different watercolors. But I think this is like a very handy, all-in-one, very compact travel palette. Oh, so I think this is a handy little travel watercolor palette. It has even a thumb ring, so you can hold it. But I'm very happy with this purchase. So I think I might try this one out in the summer. Next one. It's been on my wish list for a little while. It's not necessarily the brand. But I have never tried the Blocks watercolors. But it's the Bijou style watercolor palette. Let me open. It's a Belgian brand. The French side of Belgium. Okay. And the colors inside of the palette. Which has a split primary and two earth colors. Which seems to be very bad. Wow. Look, look. And like it's a little bit glittery. Oh. Well, let me just. I just moisturized my hand, so. It's very tiny and very compact. Let me compare it to. Palette. Like it's two thirds. And a lot thinner. Let me open it up. Oh wow. It's already unwrapped. I swear, the yellows, I think they just attract dust. Or you see it, or it's visible because the colors are so light. Two mixing spaces. And I think this is like a very nice portable palette. 
It just looks very beautiful. Personally, I like to collect different types of watercolor palettes. And this one is like... It looks so cool. I think I'm going to swatch these watercolors because they are already unwrapped. So, so this is the Bijou palette. And I'm going to zoom back out. I also got the Schmincke whiskey palette. And the whiskey palette has like a water reservoir. So it's the same or similar size, but it comes with a, a water tank. So it's thicker in comparison, but it has like the same style. So let's take a closer look at the Schmincke version. These are the colors. I like the block selection a little bit more compared to the Schmincke because in a blocks palette you have like a split primary and here I'm kind of missing a warm yellow. I rather would have liked a burnt umber or a burnt sienna or even a paint gray or a neut neutral tint type of color instead of the sepia. But this is interesting, you can also add like a row of your own watercolors. I also see like some scratches inside of the water reservoir. I don't know if you can see it. Like right here in the corner. So I might need to repaint that or I don't know. Does, isn't this going to rust if I just leave it like this? I don't know. This, this seems to be like made a little bit better, but they still look the same. So, this one is also very dusty inside. But I would be scared to, if this starts leaking or rusting inside of this palette. So, if I would be traveling, I'd rather take the Kaufman travel palette instead of the Schmincke one so this is more like a collector's type of palette that I got and you can just put the water tank or bucket right on the side you can I think like hold it in your hand Mix it and paint like that. This one was on sale and so it was a bit cheaper than the Blocks palette. But I'm glad to add these to my collection. I think I will use this one because the colors just look beautiful. So I'm gonna swatch these colors. So at the end of last year I also picked up this watercolor palette which is the Academy slim watercolor palette it also contains 12 academy watercolors so this is the schminke slim i think it's called the slim line watercolor palette so it comes like with a lot of tiny mixing spaces and 12 watercolors it's like the Half size of the 24 palette. But this one also has the enamel chipping. And I just, I think I'm gonna repaint it or respray it before I start using this palette. Because I don't want my palette rusting away within a year but in this palette I decided to put the Michael Harding watercolors which are beautiful vibrant watercolors and I will do a separate video about these watercolors so far I really like them they are very pigmented watercolors and I'm just 
I found this to have like an interesting shape. So that's the reason I picked this palette up. A little update on the Cass Art Travel Set watercolor palette. I still haven't used this palette because I just don't like the fact that there are 18 watercolors and just one large mixing space. So I think I'm gonna modify it before I start using it. But I just, I don't know. I don't feel like using this watercolor palette and I don't know what it is. But I really should try this palette out because it's a slim, very tiny compact watercolor color palette like it's a little longer but slimmer than the blocks visual palette so it's still on my list to try out but it's not that high up so i also got the sarah burns studio times craftsmo brush set which is mainly meant for gouache and it contains a lot of flat brushes like look at the beautiful artwork. You can even see like the texture of the watercolor paper and the nice brush strokes. Like she's really amazing. Even the back side. Let's open it up. Like even like, wow. I'm really going to save this box. It also comes with a print with i think information on the brush this set comes with seven brushes and it was priced really well and it had a lot of flat brushes which i'm like add to chart and it looks beautiful like a matte turquoise with a black ferrule It has like two round brushes. I think like three flat brushes. And a liner. And a liner brush slash script. The brush hairs are a bit on the longer side. If you compare them to the Da Vinci fit brushes and <coughs> even the Neptune water brush. I think it's close to, no, it's even longer than the Pro Arte brush. I'm really excited to try these brushes out. and improve my gouache paintings. I'm normally not a landscape painter, but I'm, I am interested in doing that. So that's the Sarah Burns Studio brush set. I think we should swatch these colors. I really want to see how they look like. I'm just wondering if I'm, if the names are on the palette. How do I, oh yes. The names are on there, like on the back. So that's really, really handy. More brands should do that. Just don't know why the names are. Oh, it's the French name and the English name. Okay. And they are organized in the way I like. I have the Hanamule watercolor sketchbook. I'm just gonna zoom in. Oh, by the way, I did this like quick painting with uh, Michael Harding watercolors. And I, this is the cobalt teal and the 
the Scarlet Lake Light. And it's just the way I'm able. Like I like the gradation and the splitting of the colors. But now back to the watercolors. I'm going to put the name down and we're going to swatch. I'll be right back. So let's swatch these colors. The names are like on a printer paper. So I'm doing it on watercolor paper. Because I really want to see how these colors look. And oh wow. I'm gonna put the pigment information if I can find it on screen. It's a very bright yellow. I don't know if this is like a lemon yellow, like a PY3 or an ASO yellow. But we, you find out and I will find out. Like a nice warm yellow. Pyrolo red. They really wet really nicely. Oh, this is like a bright, warm leaning. Next up, the Quina Cunacodon Magenta. Oh, wow. Also have like a gritty texture. I'm not sure where it's, where it's from. Maybe it's something that got on the palette or. Hmm. Next up, ultramarine D. I'm not sure how deep this is. Primary blue. Which I'm guessing is a Taylor blue. Very intense, vibrant blue. And I'm curious about the transparent Mars yellow. It's not rewriting the best. So all of the other colors just rewrite it with ease. So I'm gonna just let this one sit for a bit. And we're gonna move over to burnt umber. Which looks a little bit weak. I don't know what's happening to the transparent marsh yellow because it's getting like a weird texture on the pan. But let's try swatching it. Yeah, I don't think this is how it's supposed to look. It 
it looks really weird. So that's a really disappointing color. The Cornacodon magenta looks like it's granulating. So let me do another swatch down below. See, so yeah, that was off screen, so let me do it again. I'm gonna try swatching the Queen Magenta from Schmincke. Maybe it's the paper. So the colors have dried. The Queen Magenta has like a really weird texture, like that it isn't finely milled. If I did it on the Stonehenge watercolor paper, the burnt umber just seems to be a little weak. And the transparent marsh yellow is also has like the weird gritty texture. And I tried it again with the Queen Magenta. But I'm really surprised about the magenta color. This is like next to the Queen Magenta from Schmincke. Like you see, just tiny bits. Some. So it's weird, especially next to the Pyrolo Red, because that's a smooth watercolor, and then you have like a gritty Queen Magenta. So, like, five of the eight colors work really nicely, but at least that's my first impression. The transparent marsh yellow. And the Queen Magenta are really disappointing. And the Burnt Umber is on the weaker side. So, well, that's my first impression on the Blox watercolors. Not at all what I expected. Okay. Hmm. You even see the pieces in this swatch. So that took me by surprise. So that was the haul. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. And like this video if you like these types of videos. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.